Hi, I'm Maggie Miller here at ODSC East, and I am with Prisberg. He is the CEO of Data Kitchen, or should we say head chef? I'm the head chef, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's talk a little bit about this uh, term that you coined, data ops. What does it mean, and how does trust play into it? Well, I don't think we coined it. Okay. We use it. Okay. Um, but uh, the way I think of it is that people have been making things together for a long time, right? People have been making cars or manufacturing things. People have been making software. And now people are making data and analytics and models and AI. And how you manage a group of people to do that well, how to do it where the output that they have doesn't have a lot of errors. No one likes cars that break, right? No one likes software that breaks. And no one likes wrong data or imperfect models. And then how do you get a lot of people to create in that? And so data and analytics teams will want to innovate. A lot of smart people here at ODSC, they want to try new things. They want to be able to create. And what happens today is that they can't create as fast as they want to. There's bottlenecks in the system on because they're spending too much time fixing errors, too many times creating things that aren't getting into production, and too much just messing around with a lot of the operational stuff that should be easy. And so data ops, the idea of the movement is about putting a light on that operational side and saying, hey, this has real value. And if you focus on it, your team can work better and the results, the things that they create are more attuned to what the customers need. And what do you think the future of AI is? And do you think there will always be humans a part of the AI development process? You know, I uh, studied AI back in the dark ages when it wasn't cool, and I have this really interesting feeling about AI. It's sort of like a, my high school girlfriend that I dumped and now has come back and is a movie star because it's very popular. So I think AI is great, but I don't, um, you know, having been in the field for a long time, uh, data and analytics, whether you call it AI or machine learning or predictive analytics or visual, it's all sort of the same stuff. It's all people working with data, working with algorithms, and having an output that someone finds valuable. And the process of doing that, how do, how do people, how do you get a bunch of smart people in a room to do something uh, that is valuable to an end user? I think there's always going to be people involved. And I don't think uh, you know, the machines are going to take the world, because this is a, a technical, creative endeavor. And how do we, as leaders, get people, because there's a lot of new people uh, coming into the field, how do we get them to be productive? And you don't want them to be frustrated and, and whether they're doing AI or whatever term it's called in the future, um, it's still a, a group of people working together, lots of data, and there's lots of great tools. And how do, how do those all work together? Well, that's great insight on it. Thank you so much for your time today.